Using AI to recreate someone's voice is becoming more and more popular these days. Whether you're cloning your voice with the help of third-party services like Voice AI, or you're using the feature that's built into your smartphone, this is becoming more and more accessible to the average user. Samsung has recently launched a way to use your own voice as the Bixby Virtual Assistant, rather than using one that came pre-installed. This looks to be a server-side update, as some devices are getting the feature right now, while others are having to wait a bit. For this to work though, we first need to train Bixby by saying a few phrases. We can check to see if your device has this feature available by first launching the Bixby Virtual Assistant. I do this by long pressing on the side key here, but you may trigger it with a hot word instead. Either way, we're gonna launch Bixby and then tap on the gear icon at the bottom right so that we can go into the settings area. From here, we're going to tap on the language and voice style option. And if the feature has been rolled out to your Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet, then you will see a create voice section at the bottom here. So we're going to tap on the create custom voice option. And if this is your first time using the feature, then you're going to be prompted to download and install an application from the Galaxy App Store first. You may see an update button instead of an install button whenever you are taken to this page. Either way, we're going to need to make sure that this is up to date. And you can see it's installing the Samsung on device resource and the Bixby custom voice creator. These both need to be downloaded and installed from the Galaxy Store which it will do for you automatically. When those have been installed, we're gonna go back to the language and voice style menu, and then tap on that create custom voice option again. We're gonna grant the app the ability to use and record audio, and we're gonna go ahead and grant the permission to send notifications. And you can see that it has launched us into the setup process for cloning our voice with Bixby. And we can see right here that there may be performance issues if earphones or any Bluetooth devices are connected to our Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet while we are recording. So we're going to tap on the big blue start button right here. And you can see that it's asking us to say the following after we have tapped on the blue start recording button. And it's gonna have us say 10 different sentences so that Bixby can clone our voice properly. So let's tap on the blue start recording button here and repeat these phrases. You might have purchased an English Bulldog tonight. Am I crazy now, or did I see a rainbow earlier? Dad jokes are what make Father's Day special every year. A gentle eye rub helps improve night vision. Any idea how fast you are running? 
So I'm going to continue repeating these sentences so that Bixby can clone my voice. Now that the initial setup process has been completed, Samsung wants us to give our newly created virtual assistant voice a name. Then we're going to tap on done. And the device will begin analyzing my voice and recreating it in the background. When you get to this screen, you can use your phone like you normally would. So you can minimize this. You can open up and use other apps. You can play other games and you can even lock your phone and go about your day. However, we are told that your smartphone can learn to clone your voice faster if this screen stays on your display. So we're going to let our Galaxy S23 recreate and clone my voice, and then we'll finish up this video. When this process is done, you're going to see this at 100% with a blue button telling you to go to the settings. And that's going to take you back to the language and voice style option. So from here, you can see that we have our newly created voice down here at the bottom. If you want, you can tap on the three dot menu icon to either delete this custom voice or rename it. And we can both select this cloned voice and we can sample it by simply tapping on it Hi, my name is Bixby. and you can see that compared to voice one Hi, my name is Bixby. it does sound a little bit like me Hi, my name is Bixby. even though it still has a bit of a robotic feel to it It is much closer Hi, my name is to my actual voice. If it's not up to par, then we can go through the creation process again. It's possible that you may have slipped when saying a word or two, and that can mess up the entire learning algorithm. Samsung has made it clear that the synthetic Bixby voice you have created may not work with all Bixby features. The company seems to have created this feature mainly for its Bixby text calling feature, among other text to speech options that are offered by the company. But Samsung is fine using your own cloned voice as Bixby when doing things like reading out the weather, answering questions, or telling you the date and time. Today, it is mostly sunny with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 66 degrees. I have been unable to find the exact requirements of this feature. Some had speculated that you need One UI 5.1.1 in order for Bixby to gain the ability to clone your own voice. But I have One UI 5.1 on my Galaxy S23 right here, and I was able to find the newly updated option in the settings area.